shot multiple times and killed by Chester police. When my son got killed, it was I was told that they were considering doing a closed casket. His jaw was broke so severely, the funeral director told me he had to wire it together. They said that he shot an officer. When I asked about whether or not he had gun residue on his hands. They told me the envelope was sealed. And the only way I can get answers is through a judge who has to be um, given through lawyer. Be it as it may, I have no answers. Then I was asked, I asked for the police report. They told me I couldn't get it because it was still under investigation. I can understand that. But when I asked for his, his a copy of his coroner's report. They told me I had to contact the district attorney in Chester to get it. On his death certificate, they have down there he shot a police. How can you put down there he shot a police when it's still under investigation? How can you turn around and say that uh, he shot a police on his death certificate, not only because of a pending investigation, it should say something to the nature of he was shot multiple times and killed. They made a decision of him shooting the police before the final verdict has even been sent in. So there's a lot of unanswered questions that I'm seeking from Chester police. And to make matters worse, I was informed that the internal affairs in Chester are the ones that's investigating my son being killed by Chester. I went to their council meeting and I told them, I don't want I do not, and I'm going to repeat it again, I do not want Chester's internal affairs investigating my son. I want someone in New York, Washington, or Timbuktu. I don't care. I want him investigated outside of the box. So the thing is, I can't bring my son back, but I can fight for the future. Frank McQueen, Trevon Martin, Mike Brown. My son is an author. He has his own moving company. Company. He was getting his master's in theology to become a preacher. He has children, just like the man that they allegedly said he shot. And I'm going to continue fighting for my son because my son is not going to rest till I rest. And I'm not going to rest until I bring justice to light. So if there's anyone out there who can assist me in this matter, because I'm new, I've even started a new organization for peace. It's called Direction, Voice, and Light, better known as DVL. And the direction is because I want no one to ever have to go through a situation like I have and be lost. So we're to lead them in the right direction. I want the smallest voices to be heard. With all respect due to Mike Brown, if there wasn't a riot, he'd be another Afro-American that was killed by police. Whereas though my son was killed by police, there was no riot. So people in New York and Washington doesn't know about him. I want the smallest voices to be heard. And the light indicates showing the light on justice. Good, bad, right or wrong. I'm not going to rest until all of this is brought to light. Now, if there's someone out there who can assist me or help me, please feel free to call me at 267-393-5555. 
3823. And I will be doing a rally at Philadelphia's Love Park, September the 20th at 1.30. I want these smaller voices, call me, be heard, because this police brutality has got to stop. Thank you. There were rebellions in Brazil. There were rebellions in South Carolina. And we don't like to talk about resistance. We want to talk about, oh, man, forgot it right. You see that, you see that big house over there? You see where he lives? He got things, he got things right. And if we just follow his plan, no, Africans resist. That's what we do. All people rebel from oppression. All people rebel from bigotry. And so as the cops continue to circle the block that we on to, to take our pictures and worry about who's speaking and, and just know why we're here. This doesn't stop here. Re the rebellion in Ferguson has continued because I was there. I went down there to Ferguson. So the people down there, their spirit is unrelentless. They will never stop. They already have it in their hearts and in their minds that they're going to win, and if they don't win, they're going to win. That's the only option. Failure is not an option for those people. And in, in every city that we go to, every city that we're from, everywhere that there is these, uh, these systems that prevent us from becoming human, totally, that prevent us from being who we really are, that allow, that allow people to be bigots and allow people to have prejudices. Because we sat last night and we talked about the different prejudices that we saw if we became radicalized through our journey to this point. But there are systems set in place for me never to be cool with Walter ever in my life. For me to see him as somebody that is intangible for me to connect with. And so, the people in Ferguson, they had people coming from all over the world. It was, it was uh, Tibetan monks down there at one point, and all types of people. And the reason is because humanity is stronger than any system that has been set up to dehumanize us. So what we're doing here is we're, we're reestablishing a norm, a norm. The norm is rebellion. The norm is resistance. The norm is revolution. This is not something that is abnormal. This is something that our people have done since the beginning of time, and we'll continue to do it until we're all liberated. That's what we do. So we're reestablishing that norm, because in North Philly, it bears complacency. They let these buildings come up. And they're being, and they're, and they're, and they're, in their own mind, them being brutalized is just the way it is. Well, that's not the way it is. Freedom is the way it is. And that's where we at. So everybody that's here, it doesn't stop today. This is the beginning of a long journey to revolution. All powers to the people. How can we part, be part of the society? How can we be citizens of society when we don't have a right to our own lives? To walk around and feel safe in the street. To be respected as a human being. These are things that are lacking for us in this system, in this society. And so that's what we're coming together today to talk about, to commemorate, to reminisce, and to come together to fight these issues as a community. And so I want to thank everybody for coming out here today. And I want to open it up to the speakers. We're going to have a few speakers speaking to you. We're going to have open mics. So if any of you have some experiences you want to come up here and share and talk about, come up here and feel free. Tell us what your experiences are and how you think we should fight back against the system. And so I'm going to open it up, and we're going to have Sabrina Sample come up as our first speaker and talk to you today. Thank you. They had to go through a lot. Because this woman in you has thrown everything possible in the way of the younger generation. Rather than people's culture, expressing liberatory and human values. They're cops or their National Guard, or anything else that they can throw against the people. Um, and, you know, we, we've been talking a lot about young people today. Um, and it's such an honor to be able to follow in the footsteps of the rebellious people of North Philadelphia who rose up in 1964 and have kept fighting back ever since. And I think there's a growing recognition now that we have no future under this system. 
this system doesn't offer anything for people who want to be free and determine their own destiny and develop themselves as human beings and not as just cogs in this machine. And so many people are attracted to the resistance in Ferguson. If you're a white student going to Temple University and you're looking for an example of determination and resistance and fearlessness and heroism, you have nowhere to look but the history of revolution and struggle of black people in this country. And so all oppressed people, everyone who's been robbed of a future by this system is going to continue to fight. We're going to continue to unite. And I hope to see you all out here in the future very soon. Thank you so much.